Hello there, everybody. Pastor Bryson here. With Trinity Church using so much technology lately and the prospect of even more on the horizon, I thought I would shoot this quick tutorial video showing you how you can better connect with us on our various platforms like YouTube, Facebook, our audio podcast, and just technology in general. All right, so it all starts here. You're looking at my desktop screen right now. To get here, just pull up your web browser, be it Internet Edge, Firefox, Google Chrome, whatever you use, and type in www.tumc-loveland.org. That will bring you here. This is our church website. And if you want to connect with us, it all begins here on the home page. To find where do you need to go, just look for this giant white box right here that's on the home page right over the picture of our church. It says YouTube live stream 10 a.m., Facebook recording 2 p.m., sermon podcast. Click for more information. When you click for more information, lo and behold, you are brought here. This is our COVID-19 resource page, which you can also access through the menu here by going to the About heading, and then it's the first option right here. All right. So on this page, you see a description of the worship we're doing right now in the COVID hiatus. A short outline of what in-person worship will look like if and when we're able to launch that, hopefully soon. Then down here, you've got the two options where you can start getting connected outside of our site. This one says live stream, Sundays at 10 a.m. Prior to this, we were live streaming on Facebook, but as of this Sunday the 19th, that changes. Our live stream will be on our YouTube page because you don't need a YouTube account to view it. You need a Facebook account to see what we do on Facebook. You don't need a YouTube account to see what we're doing on YouTube. All right, so to get to that page, what do you know? There is a button right here. It says click to go to our YouTube page. When you do that, boom, you end up on our YouTube page. If we are live, you will see a little box right here that has an image of our church or an image that's what's going on in our service along with the little box, the black box here that says live. Click on that and you will be watching our live stream. In the video player, you can uh, pop that up to full screen. You can access this on your smart TV. It's really cool. It's another reason why we're live streaming on YouTube as opposed to Facebook. It's much more accessible. If you do have a YouTube account, you can begin a conversation with everybody who's watching. There's a chat box here. And so that way you can interact with us. You can share prayer concerns, uh, comments about worship, or maybe an emphatic amen. That's where you will do it, right here. All right? Okay, so that's one way you can access our live stream. And back to our, our uh, YouTube channel in general, this is where you can also access all the videos we've been doing. Simply click here on this video heading, and you'll see all the recordings we've been making. There's a lot of them now. It's all of our worship services, our announcements, everything. Now, if you don't want to sort through them, you can do that easily by going to playlists. I've sorted them down into uh, announcements from me, special worship services like Good Friday, and all of our Sunday worship recordings. Just click what you want, and it will take you to those videos. All right? So I'm hoping this is feeling very easy and very doable, okay? All right, so that's one way to find our, our live stream. Another way to find our YouTube live stream, if you're going back to our home page here, look below the giant white box and you see there's a red box that says watch our live stream. That will bring you to this window. If you want to find this one outside of the red box, just go to our worship tab here. It's the first option right where my cursor is flashing. See, you see our, um, our YouTube image again. Unfortunately, you can't fully watch this on our website. YouTube does allow you to embed, but only if you have 1,000 subscribers to your channel. We're at 30, so we have some work to do to get to that lofty benchmark. But you can partially embed it, which is what I've done here. And if you want to connect to it, if, um, if we are currently live, you will see an image of what's going on on the screen. So if there's nothing going on, there's no live stream, this will be black, pitch black. All right, so to get to the live stream, you hit the play button, which is when a warning pops up. Uh-oh. 
but it's okay. It says video unavailable, playback on other websites has been disabled by the video owner. Again, we haven't disabled it, we just don't qualify yet. But if you want to fi find the live stream, just click this watch YouTube or video on YouTube link and it takes you right back to our live stream. Again, you have all the fun and games here that you can participate in. All right, it's so simple, so simple. Okay, so to find our Facebook page, what you do is you go to our home screen here. Again, click on the giant white square. It takes you to our COVID resource page. And in the list of resources, our second grouping here, where for, it says pre-recorded on Sundays at two, there's another button that says click to go to our Facebook page. Click it, and you are there. It's easy. This is another hub for information for you to find. It's got uh, announcements, videos, uh, events you can RSVP to. If you want to know something short notice and you've got a Facebook account, this is where you come. Just come here, and it will say, I'll view it as a visitor because I'm an admin. If you want to start getting updates from us, just click this like button and it will start appearing on your feed. Okay? All right. Now, if you want to find us on the internet, all you have to do is go to your search bar here. I've got it preloaded here. Type in Trinity United Methodist Church of Loveland, Colorado. We're the first one that pops up. And we're back here where you can get all the information you want. All right, so that's how you get to our two main internet outlets. Now, if you want, like listening to audio podcasts, come back to our, our website here, the COVID page, and below the Facebook link, you see links to all the platforms we put our podcast out on. So if you're an Apple person, you would click here. It'll take you to that page, and you can hit subscribe. Google Play, Stitcher Radio, CastBox, and Spotify, we're on all of those. Just click those, it'll take you to those websites, and how to sign up is pretty self-explanatory. Plus, if you want to read our COVID policies and all the other information we've been developing, this is where you'll link to those, right here in this section. Okay, again, the church website is going to be the hub for you, the main source that'll get you anywhere you want to go. So www.tumc.org, bookmark it, it's the start of everything. Okay, I want to show you how to access our, uh, our material, even if you can't track down our website or go directly to these sites, to Facebook and YouTube. It's so simple. Again, you go to a general Google window, www.google.com. Type in Trinity United Methodist Church of Loveland, Colorado. You can type in YouTube if you want. And ah, we have a robust web presence, don't you think? Here's a list of all of our videos, our Facebook page, our website, and the Mountain Sky stuff if you want to connect to our general denomination. Go to the video tab up here, and everything we've done is listed. So friends, that is a great way to start connecting with us technologically. We know this is not everybody's cup of tea, so if you or anybody you know is confused by all this, please reach out. We have a combined tech support team with First United Methodist Church that's standing by. Brian Walls, Debbie Gruber, and I are on it, and we are here to help you connect to the ways we are broadcasting in this COVID era. Again, just reach out to any of us. We're happy to help. Otherwise, just any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate all that you do for our community and our ministry, and many, many blessings to you.